place seems like it's got a pretty legit, like, groomer skiing scene. I mean, how could you not know how to ski groomers if you grew up skiing in Sun Peaks? We've got some of the best. I mean, this whole thing, they, they groom this whole thing every night. So there's just so much, like, selection every morning. I mean, look at it right now. It's, like, almost 3 p.m., and this is, like, such good snow. In other words, people know how to rip some Roy here. Yeah, that's um. what we do here. We rip some Roy. We're really lucky here because the base where the village is sits between the mountains okay. and we have basically unlimited terrain. You wake up in the morning, you don't, do I have, hike out to the gills or do I go and do a static cling or tumble right. dry or lint trap? Right. You know, there's just so, so much okay. variety. When I look at Sun Peaks, I mean, you know, we think of it as a family resort, but you forget the families have toddlers and grandparents and hardcore, big mountain, passionate skiers. Something for everybody. We raced here in 65 and all I remembered was it was long yeah. and steep. Started racing here when I was four. Such a great culture of racing here and a really good network of coaches who were like super able to bring us up to the next level. I went to the Sochi 2014 Olympic Games for Canada and I was on the World Cup and raced all over Europe, all over Canada. Was overall NORAM title holder one year. And I got a full ride scholarship to attend school in the States for skiing and used that to get my civil engineering degree. You know, Sun Peaks was like the biggest supporter of me throughout my career and uh, hasn't really stopped. Every one of our family members has had support from this community in one way or another, be it my dad with his business, my mom with her teaching, us with our athletics, like it's just been the best community to be from as far as like having support. I'm sure that's you. why you had the success you had, because you yeah. just had such a great environment to be around. Yeah, the, nobody, there was nobody around who said you couldn't do it. Everybody was like, oh, you got this. Like yeah. it was the reason I was able to stay on the national team and go to BC Games, Winter Games, the Olympics was because of this community and their support. one of the most underrated places I've ever been to. Everyone is so nice that you just feel like you're right at home. So really looking forward to coming back. You guys are in the Icon Pass, right? Yeah. So I can take my Icon Pass and come back here no problem. And more of a motive to come back. You guys get to ski here every day. That's not, awesome. Not a bad place to be for sure. It's been Definitely. awesome sharing it with you guys. It was a really sure. cool experience. And it's been so nice to ski with you guys because it's such a different style than what I currently have from a race background and it's been just so freaking fun to like get the chance to like try new styles and like really talk to you guys about your technique and get real technical about it something else. See what you got. <laughs> Good thing goals. <laughs> <laughs> 